Okay, thank you, Tim. Here we have the we have a sign up screen which has the name, the email address, the phone number, the password, and also a button to for sign up. And also there is a link here for logging instead. Next is signing screen. The credentials required here is email address, password, confirm password, and also there's a link here for the forgot password, which when you tap on the link, it is going to forward you to forgot screen, forgot password screen where you will be able to reset your password your account password the screen is here so you enter just your email then the reset password information will be sent in your email just go back to signing screen then if all the credentials are all correct we tap on login but if they are not correct, you have to tap on forgot password so that you can be able to reset your password. Then there is also a link here for the sign up. So if you don't have an account already, you can go and sign up. Then we have a form here where the details for the pregnant women and the, the cases in each location in a specific district will be filled here, which will, will be then pushed to the online database. And that is where the request request for analysis or fetching data from the database will be forwarded to. So we have a name here. We will be required to enter a name, a phone number, pregnancy stage, age, location, and also the district where the case is from. Then the community health worker will press submit button. Then we also have uh, uh, a form to fill details for the local deliveries. Community health worker may have heard or may hear that there are some women who have delivered locally. Locally, but. Uh, the cases have not been reported in, uh, in any facility center, health facility center, sorry. So that the so that the data can be tracked and those women can also be advised accordingly on how on also the dates for next next immunization and also those who have not started their immunizing immunizing their children uh, <coughs> they can start receiving maybe emails or messages because they're going to provide the phone number here so the phone numbers they are going to be sent text messages to remind them from the next about the next immunization date and this is this is for the purpose of just keeping them keeping them updated so this is the end of our prototype slideshow so thank you